in the famous discussion and the parshas in Parshas Vayera between Avram Avinu and Hashem about the destruction of Sodom and Amorah, the five cities, we learn a major principle about tefillah and how to daven. So first we see HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Amachasa ani me Avram, should I conceal it from Avram that I'm going to destroy these cities? I'm going to tell him. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells Avram Avinu and Avram Avinu goes straight away and he starts negotiating with Hashem. Are you really going to kill a tzaddik with a rasha? Maybe there's some tzaddik in there. We use that language in our tefillah on the Yom Naroim. And Akash Baruch Hu says, okay, if there's 10 tzaddikim in each town of the five cities, then there's 50 tzaddikim I won't destroy. Then Avram says, what do you mean? Maybe there's been, maybe together with you, there will be nine in each city, taking a total of 45, and so on. And Avram Afin is negotiating in his humility, who am I, I'm only off of Eva, I'm only dust and ashes, but how could you do this? Maybe there'll be some Sadiq in there. And eventually he goes, takes him down to 10. If there's 10 Sadiq in total, five cities, will you, save the, will you save these five cities of Sodom and Amor? And Hashem says, I agree, I won't destroy. Lo I won't destroy. And that was it. So first of all, we see this concept of the discussion, the debate, with a Kodesh Baruch Hu into Phyllis, real conversation together between a Tzaddik and a Kodesh Baruch Hu. But the next morning, Avram Avinu wakes up and he sees smoke and he sees the whole thing's being destroyed, all the cities. What's going on? But if you look inside the Chumash, in the Sedra of Vayera, in Perik 19, verse 27, the Posik says, Avram Baboyka, Avram woke up early in the morning, and a mockum, and he went back to the place, Esher Omad Sham, where he'd stood there, Espenei Hashem, before the face of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. And the Gemara and Brachas learns out from here, this verse, Avram got up early in the morning, V'yashkim Avram Baboyke V'ya Amod, Esher Omad Sham, where he stood there, is referring to Amida, Ein Amida, Ela Tefillah. We learn from here, he was instituted the Tefillah of Shacharis asks the Arugas Haboysen, one of the great Hasidish commentaries, he says, what's going on here? He just davened al Kodesh Baruch Hu, and then he, his tefillahs are not even answered, and then what's he do? He goes back to the place where he davened previously before Hashem, he's carrying on davening. Says the Arugas Haboysen, an important principle of tefillah. People think that tefillah is only when you're asking for something. People think it, a Kodesh Baruch Hu is a vending machine, you press the button and the bag of crisps falls out, or the can of coke falls out, the pranosa falls out, the children, the shidduch, the nachos. It's a vending machine. Tefillah isn't only that. There is an aspect to that, but it's not the only part of asking a Kodesh Baruch Hu. But actually, tefillah is a way of connecting. A Kodesh Baruch Hu wants to connect with us. It's a conversation. It's a relationship. Just like any human relationship, we never speak to the person we never have any connection, we're only about asking them for something. If a child always just asks the parent something and that's it, there's no strong relationship. A, str a strong relationship is when there's other things being discussed, there's a connection, there's other things, sh things are shared, feelings, thoughts, experiences are shared together. Then there's a communication. That's what tefillah is. Tefillah is a way of connecting. It's a communication, it's a relationship. Have a great day and keep davening with fire.